How to create a navigational menu in WordPress, part two. So in part one, I already showed you how to customize the menu in WordPress using the feature native to WordPress, which is the menus. It's an appearance menus. If you haven't watched the video, I'll link it somewhere here on the screen so you can click and watch part one. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to customize the order of items, change around and change your logo and other stuff. Now do keep in mind that I'll be using the Sydney theme and it's important because the feature I'm gonna demonstrate works with the Sydney theme. So your theme might not support it exactly. So if you just built a website and you're looking for a great theme, check out Sydney. It's free. Look at the ratings. Pretty awesome. Check it out. So to edit the entire menu, I'll be using the header builder feature from the Sydney theme. And to use the header feature, I need to go to the customize option. And this is what the customizer looks like. You'll see all these options here. Now, customizer is a native feature in WordPress. But if you go to the header part here, this is a feature that exclusive to the Sydney theme. So now you see the header here. Now think about all the things you see here. You have a logo here, you have the menu, some icons. Now look here. This is exactly what you see here. Now you can use this area to customize your header completely. How? Let me demonstrate. So let's say you want to change the identity of your site, but you don't want, like it in the top left corner. You want to keep it in the center. All you have to do is drag this and place it here like this. And then in a couple of seconds, now you see your header has completely changed. You have this beautiful looking header now. Let's change the logo as well. So I'll click the gear icon here on site identity and I'll see this option on the left. Let's upload a new logo. I'll click select image, select a new image, click choose image. And now we have a brand new logo on the header and on the site. And I can also change its line height so I can make it proportionately large enough. And what I just demonstrated is this tip of the iceberg. Let me move this back again. Now think about this. You can see three rows here and you technically have three rows of editing available here. So right now what we see is in the middle row which has two sections. One section, two section and the top and the bottom rows are three different sections. And you can customize the section themselves. So if we click here, let's say on this icon, you can see the option for the sections also come up. You can change the spacing, you can change the color, the padding, everything else. So in just a minute, I was able to create this beautiful looking menu and header by customizing the elements here. And since I can also customize the colors, the element spacing, the padding and the margin, I can customize everything that I want. And not to mention, you can add more elements here. These are all the elements that are available to you to add. So you can add a secondary menu, social icons, buttons, custom HTML, even contact info. And if you click the customization options for the top row, main row or the bottom row, you can customize the rows themselves. You can change the number of columns. So you can add three columns, four columns or five columns. You can change the height of the column layout of the columns and the columns themselves and change the background colors, background images, borders, padding, everything else. So not only can you customize the menu, you can customize everything about it. Change colors, change heights, change everything else and customize it to whatever you like. So hopefully now you understand how powerful the header builder is in the Sydney theme. And that's why I took part two of this video. Make sure to watch part one if you haven't watched it already and follow me for more website building advice.